ranks second in the nation when it comes to the rate of new cancer cases. This is according to the 2024 Cancer in Iowa report. A new program aims to raise awareness for farmers facing cancer. I spoke with the creator of the program, Britt Von Roden, to learn a little bit more. Britt, thank you so much for speaking with me. Can you tell us what is the Farmers Against Cancer program? The Farmers Against Cancer program it was established um, a couple of months ago to help support and raise awareness for the ACS or the American Cancer Society. There's actually three elements um, to support the three pillars of ACS. Um, so we have a fundraising opportunity, which is the F, we have awareness, which is the A, and then we have um, corporate partnerships, which is the C. I understand this program was your idea. How did this come about? It was like, what are some additional ways that we can get the word out um, and help support? And so we were kind of brainstorming and simply I, you know, I was thinking about America needs farmers. And then, well, if we don't have farmers due to this disease that impacts so many and in Iowa, with uh, it being the number two in instance rates, it was like, okay, we need to come up with something for that. And that's kind of where the brainstorm came from. And actually uh, my family is a farming family and we've been impacted by the disease as well. So it was kind of like a, you know, a win-win uh, in terms of how the, the idea came to fruition. Oftentimes with cancer, early detection we know is key, but we also know access to health care isn't always as easy in rural Iowa. Tell us more about how the American Cancer Society can help with this. We have what's known as the Road to Recovery Program, and that is a free driving service to get cancer patients to and from their treatments. Um, like you just mentioned, being in rural Iowa, getting to and from can be very, very difficult. And caregivers, you know, they have jobs and um, ultimately when, you know, farmers or even caregivers that are experiencing it, those schedules can be very difficult. So that program has been really, really great uh, for the state of Iowa. And then we also have the Hope Lodge, which is located in Iowa City. And that is a free stay for folks that need um, extended care in that area. And we've got some really great testimonials and some farming families that have taken advantage of that program. What are the goals of the Farmers Against Cancer program? I think the biggest thing is awareness and education, getting sun safety resources, getting these programs available to these farmers where they feel like they can get access um, and the caregivers being a support system for them. How can people learn more about the program or even get involved with FAC? We've launched a website. We have a couple social channels that are available. Um, so on the site, you can donate, you can do a monetary contribution. We have the opportunity to partner with Raygon and launch a merchandise site, which I'm really excited about. Uh, we've gotten some really great feedback on that as well. So we've got some fun t-shirts and some swag and stickers and things like that that people can um, purchase and then proceeds go back to the ACS, which then funnels back into our program. I feel like everyone has a connection to a farmer or the family of a farmer. And there isn't one person that I haven't spoken to in my journey that hasn't been impacted or known a farmer that's been impacted. And so when you think about all the great things that are available um, to participate in, even if, again, if it's just sharing our story or our initiative, or our objective, um, I would just encourage and ask for that support. Britt Von Roden with the Iowa Area Board for the American Cancer Society and the FAC program. Thank you so much for speaking with me. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. We appreciate it.